Good morning, everybody. I am uh, Anna Costanza Russo. I'm in charge of uh, I'm in charge of R&D department of Comec, and now I will present uh, uh, our collaboration and our activities uh, with uh, with Dansman. Um, the global fuel cell market represents one of uh, the biggest and fastest growing market, with an increasing demand of composite wanded pressure vessel. So it is expected a growth of 60% from 2020 to 2030. So in this context, um, our R&D activities put their roots. And uh, our uh, value proposition is the synergy between machine and process, because uh, uh, machine and process determine productivity level. So, uh, COMEC R&D activities are based on three main pillars, materials, process, and safety. Um, about material performances, um, our activities are focused on the development uh, of an high productivity and efficient um, top red process in collaboration in partnership with Ansman. About the process, uh, we are working and we are developing high-speed filament winding machine, high-speed top-red filament winding solution. And uh, safety, about safety, the third pillar, we are pioneers in this field because we are working uh, um, on an innovative pressure vessel sensorized uh, with an innovative uh, additive, uh, additive technique. Most of, uh, of our R&D activities are funded by internal department, but uh, um, also by European community. Uh, now we have uh, two R&D ongoing projects. The first one, Smart to Winding, is focused on uh, a new automated solution for the impregnation and the winding of top red. And the second one, Sephiro, uh, is uh, focused on the, the, um, the, um, the development of a pressurized vessel for the storage of hydrogen for automotive use made by composite materials and sensorized by um, an, uh, an, innovative an innovative technique based on the, the aerosol jet printing. From uh, uh, this experience, Comec proposed a new approach to composite pressure vessel based on the use of top red. And uh, um, top red have uh, numerous advantages for filament winding process, a more precise resin content, a more precise tension control, a neither uh, speed process uh, mm, winding, a final product without defect. So the focus of our activity is the top red. And now I will uh, let me introduce my colleague from, uh, from Ansman, Sebastian Pantu, which will explain uh, our, uh, in detail our collaboration. Thank you, Anna. And thanks, uh, Comec, for, the, um, for this uh, invitation on stage today. So um, my name is Sebastian Pontu. I'm from Ensman Advanced Materials. Um, I'm in charge of the new business development for composites at Huntsman um, Advanced Materials. And then I'm here today to talk about uh, how we, um, Huntsman, but also we, together with the partners, uh, equipment suppliers, uh, support the growth expected on this market. For us, it's all about understanding the big picture to be able to support our customers as best as we can and benefits from um, the, the, the know-how and the competencies of, of different companies. So a very quick introduction about Advanced Materials. So we are a specialty chemical supplier. Um, we are serving the composite industry and the, the composite business for more than 60 years with epoxy resin formulations. Uh, we have been involved for more than 15 years now in the, um, in the pressure vessel industry. Uh, so we have um, a good experience and product qualified uh, for natural, natural gas, so compressed natural gas, and more recently for uh, hydrogen storage. 
And uh, for us, as mentioned, it's very important to have the big picture um, of the, the, all the elements and have relationships with um, experimented uh, suppliers, equipment suppliers like Comec Innovative. So um, the idea is to move forward together, create some links, and yeah, benefits from these collaborations to serve uh, and to bring solutions to the market. So even if our core competence is the chemistry, and of course, the, the chemistry will influence uh, the material performance, and we also can provide the support to use to make the best use of our materials. Uh, but it's important to keep uh, to keep in mind the processing conditions and um, to to develop our chemistry together with experts in in process in processing. And then to enlarge even more the picture now, uh, it's also a common understanding um, in this partnership of the, the requirements of the customers. Of course, uh, it's very important to understand their challenges in terms of, of process, uh, the regulations that are in place, also the economical factors. So our first objectives and uh, common objectives actually, so it's ensure safety and increase productivity. So ensure safety first with the material performance. We always start from the understanding of the material performance on the pressure vessel itself, um, which is linked to uh, burst pressure, cycling tests, um, can be um, yeah, also impact resistance. And then we translate this to the resin formulation when we develop the product. And the second element, the productivity, so it's linked to the manufacturing process. And um, even if our solutions can be used in a range of, of processes, like wet filament winding, resin transfer molding, nowadays we put lots of efforts in the top reg filament winding. So we develop lots of solutions, and we have currently um, a portfolio of products uh, offering key characteristics. So the top reg, um, the top reg process is, of course, a very clean, fast, and and uh, with high quality uh, control. Um, so it's a good way to produce and uh, to mass produce pressure vessels. Um, so the portfolio we suggest, uh, here have three examples in this table you can see, um, are um, only some examples. We have a, a kind of platform where we can play with different resins, curing agents, um, to fine tune also the, the, the viscosity, the, the tack, uh, so the rheology in general. Um, and uh, also the reactivity and uh, the stability over time at room temperature. So in general, um, we have been working also together on the impregnation, on the viscosity for the impregnation, well, with, the, the, with Comec, for example, um, and uh, then with customers to adjust our, our tack and to be able to offer uh, different um, um, characteristics. And um, this helps to, to optimize uh, really the, the, the product compared to uh, the requirements of the customers. And, and then um, at the end, we also have um, a, a very strong expertise in the simulation. Uh, so we do have simulation models for the systems that are displayed here. So we can run cure kinetic simulations. And when we are talking today about high pressure, um, like 700 bar service, hydrogen storage, um, it's really important to be able to simulate the process uh, because we are talking about thick uh, sections up to 40 millimeter thickness, so you need to control your exotherm peak and so on. So this is uh, something we can do as a support um, on top of the, the, the resin systems. So now I will leave the stage to uh, Tashmatov from, from Comec. Okay, yeah, thank you. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Janusz, and it's a great pleasure and honor to participate in this event. And thank you, Anna and Sebastian, for your presentations. OK, so when you think about pressure vessels, a crucial part of the production is uh, filament winding technology. And uh, we all know that it's one of the oldest manufacturing techniques. Depending on the final product, you can use a robotic or Cartesian structure. And there is uh, still an open debate between wet against dry methods of production. There is a huge material quality dependence and there is a quite critical speed limit, especially in the dome zone. And if you didn't know, it's even negative there. So as a machinery producer, we had this question, is there really no innovation in this technology? I mean, lately, all the filament winding producers, including ourselves, worked on several important aspects to optimize the production process. 
And by this, I mean the increase of an automation level, um, adding more units like auto fiber placements, or adding more dancers who have a better tension control. When you analyze the productivity, especially for wet filament winding, then optimizing the cleaning process becomes indispensable. And uh, lately, customers are using more and more units. We, we, we are giving two baths, two creels, two liner carriages. We are even giving two deposition heads. And uh, it is a standard nowadays to work with a micrometrial, me metrical mechanical repeatability. So these are the main fields of optimization. So what we decided is to go beyond this local optimization and switch to a holistic approach to innovation. Uh, we decided to review the motion. So you can see our machine, filament winding machine with six axes and the reviewed motion. And a better movement let us eliminate the negative speed in a dome zone. So we have a positive speed zone, a speed in a dome zone constantly, which means a constant tension control, less fiber break, and higher precision of uh, the position. So in this graph, you can see the conventional filament winding machine. As you can see, the total average speed um, is highly influenced by this negative speed in the dome zone. With our new solution, we don't have this problem anymore, and uh, the total average speed has doubled. So, okay, uh, these are the values of a market nowadays. The total average speed is 0 0.25 meters per second. And our analysis show that with the new generation of film and winding machines of Comac, we achieve 0 0.66 meters per second, total average speed. So it's quite impressive, and, um, but there is one problem. But to keep this high speed, you need a very good high quality material. So we had this puzzle to resolve. When your producer needs a nice top rack made in-house, he calls the machinery producer, they make a prototype, they test it, and they have a custom top rack machine now. So what happens if you put in a constant loop the resin producer, fiber producer, and the machinery producer? In case of Huntsman and Comac, we got top quattro. Okay. So it's a very simple tow impregnation machine. It can have up to eight lines. Uh, depending on type of resin, you can use resin bath or nozzle injectors. Uh, it has a special control of a gap between the impregnation roller and the scrapers. The process speed is 100 meters per minute. So it's a process speed, not mechanical. We actually impregnate with this speed and we can achieve even more. And uh, with this speed, we guarantee plus minus one resin content and we are achieving even 0.5%. And the machine is incredibly user-friendly. Due to COVID, we have to just simplify everything, especially in the commissioning. So let's zoom back now and recap the benefits of a holistic approach. Um, highly efficient top rack machine lets you produce a high, a high quality top rack, which then you can use on your filament winding machine with the motion review. So produce everything much faster and uh, have a better productivity. And surely, if you use a top rack, you have a short curing time, easy cleaning, and all the rest of advantages for a mass production. Now, I would like to close the presentation um, with our vision and mission. Comic aims to become a baseline of expectations when you think about composite machinery. And uh, we use our holistic approach to innovation, which I just showed you, not only to produce top rack and filament winding, we also do it for pre prec ATL, and AFP machines production, including hybrid solutions. Thank you for your attention, and uh, please do not hesitate to ask your questions. So no questions, I see, yeah, uh, Mr. there. Hello, have you seen any speed uh, advantage using from wet winding to the top rate? Have you, have you increased the speed of uh, yeah, winding surely. and uh, angles, etc.? So uh, on our machine, I will go back with my slides. OK. 
Okay. I just want to show you the rendering of our machine. Okay, we are in the production phase uh, of our filament winding machine. It has six axes. And as I told you, when you use, um, if you want to increase speed like drastically, you have to use stop rack because uh, when you have uh, an impregnation bath and then uh, uh, you have to not only do the deposition but also do the impregnation on the same machine, in case of a stop, you are stopping two production to production lines, not only one. And uh, uh, also, if you have, uh, for example, an impregnation bath on, on your carriage, so the carriage is moving, then the resin there, it's quite liquid. It starts to just go everywhere, and uh, it's quite difficult to clean it later. And as you know, the operators, they don't clean it like always. Sometimes they just leave it, and next day you find your, your machine impregna impregnated. So uh, in case of... Uh, uh, dry it's all prag. Uh, uh, you don't have this problem anymore, and uh, you have uh, less fiber break, uh, less twist, and um, uh, much better um, uh, resin content. Because on your toe break machine, you produce high quality toe break. Then you test it, you see it. If the resin content is fine, is the, if the bent width is is okay, and also you can accumulate it, so you, you don't stop your production. And uh, surely, surely uh, there is always the. Um, the cost problem. So nowadays, as I told you, there is this uh, wet against dry method uh, production discussion, and uh, mostly, mostly um, producers they prefer these uh, wet machines because they are used to it, and they think that um, th uh, they don't by not buying another machine they can uh, just spend less money and earn the same. Uh, but if you analyze everything in detail, you understand that. Um, the toe prac and filament winding, two machines, separation of these processes will give you just um, incredible advantages in case of productivity, cleaning. It's, all be, it's another step, I would say, of the production. And more and more producers, they're switching to uh, dry filament winding. Thank you. Yeah. Um. I just have two quick questions. So your resin is a thermoset or thermoplastic? So it's thermoset. It's a thermoset. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just heat it and cure, or room temperature cure? So OK. Uh, when you use uh, an impregnation machine, uh, surely you will have a mixing and dosing unit. And uh, there are different types of resin. Um, on our machine, we, we, we have a test stand in our um, production. Uh, in our factory, so uh, before before giving it to one or another customer, we we test we test we see the maximum speed, and uh, we even in case of with Ansman, for example, we have this feedback with them, so um, we can optimize the process. That's why I told you we did it so many times with uh, different types of resin um, and different types of fiber. So having different customized solutions we were able to produce a, a standard, simplified, from which you can just start your production. And we eliminated all the units that um, one doesn't, have, doesn't need to use in the beginning. Sometimes it's just easier, uh, let me go back, just to uh, get a very simple, um, sorry, I think it's later. Sometimes it's just easier to get a very simple Toprec machine that we use so many times with different resin, and then working with our Toprec, probably, with our Top Quattro, uh, you will start to realize that, OK, probably I need uh, another unit, like a auto uh, change of the bobbins, or maybe I want to control better the resin content. So uh, you start with the nor normal machine, and in case you need, we just add more units. So but this is our philosophy. So I see your speed is 100 meter per minute. Yeah. How wide is your toe prac? Uh, uh, what do you mean wide? The, oh. uh, the bandwidth? Yeah. OK, so it, it can work with different types of uh, fiber. Um, mostly it's like T700 and all other um, uh, products. Probably my, my colleague can know better because she does it like every day, testing on, on this machine. I, I, I'm asking for, I'm, I'm sorry, maybe. I'm asking for the width of your toe prep. Yeah, yeah. 
the width of their toe press. Is it, is it possible to manage it during the, the, the winding process? Okay, so it depends from uh, uh, the toe that we, we impregnate. So it, um, if it is a, a 12K or 24K, but it is possible to manage it before unwinding, before winding it. Okay, yes, so there are um, some units that you can change. You can switch some rollers and you can adapt the machine for different types of uh, fiber. But uh, basically speaking, the, the less wide, like very narrow toe is difficult to handle. And uh, in, in that case, uh, we have another solutions like more innovative. But for normal use for 12K and 24K, the machine doesn't need any, even any uh, optimization or setting. We just plug it and start to produce. Yeah, thank you for the question. Uh, there is another. What is, uh, what is your solution uh, for the recyclability of the resins? Recycling. Yes. Uh, okay, by recycling you mean, uh, so as I told you, there, are, uh, there is a resin bus technology and nodule injectors, and uh, surely uh, when you impregnate, uh, some part of the resin won't go directly to the fiber and will remain in some parts of the machine. So uh, we have the refilling. So we just reuse all the resin, always. And uh, you don't have to stop it to clean. We just add more resin, add more resin with the mixing and dosing unit, and it's continu it continues production. In the very end, when uh, you finish the shift and you have to clean your machine now, uh, then surely uh, some of resin will remain there, but it's minimal. I mean, it will remain or in the impregnation bath or maybe uh, if you use nozzle injectors in the tubes. But the quantity is really it's nothing. And uh, you just uh, wash it with uh, uh, DBE and uh, acetone and other products. Okay. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Very helpful. Okay. So, thank you very much. No, wait. Can I speak? Uh, ah, just ah, it's a question. Okay, sorry. <laughs> your toe preg machinery. So I'll repeat that. I just okay, want to know your think... thoughts on the considerations a, a okay. buyer would have, whether to use your toe preg machinery, AFP, or ATL, in terms of quality, cost, and complexity of product. Okay, uh, so the time is over. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I would like to uh, uh, answer your question. Uh, we can find us at Hall 5 E14 Comic Innovative, and we yeah. can discuss it. Thank you very much for your questions, and uh, have a nice day.